into the hitting zone. Here's a break to Vinci. Oh, we've seen that shot before. Turn. Yeah, big returns from Sharapova, and she does eventually. Certainly in her stride now. Second serve. Nakamura. On to the sideline. a brave shot because to these serving stats from Shana Pogo. Yeah. Excellent serving indeed. Great depth of the return. It's nicely done. Sweet timing. That's a great serve, though. Right on to the baseline. Of <laughs> Certainly hitting her spots. <laughs> oh, and that was off a good length first serve. Shows the wrong side. Going straight down the line. Oh, getting a taste of her own medicine. Racking up the. <laughs> Hit the service line and just didn't bounce at all. Sharapova. Does that happen? <laughs> it is four games in a row, and things now beginning to look a little. 
some stats for her, I and mean, she has served well. Rhythm's been good, it's been effective, six aces. And look at that ratio of one. Sharapova's the longest service game. Sharapova's service game. You cannot serve there, Rupert. Absolutely no problem with the slice on a double hand. Another one. Love game. Wild cards into the main draws. an awesome second serve. Yeah. Ace number 11. Yeah. yeah, she is in the mood to finish this. Sharap over breaks to love and is back with a back. For lover or hater, She's very definitely back. Same game, same mentality, and of course, the same amount of noise. Oh yes. Seven, five, six, three. She wins the last of the first round matches. Just look at the delight. And now she will face fellow Russian, the Katerina Makarova, in the second round tomorrow afternoon. Very, very good after. Congratulations, Maria. You are back standing on the center court here in Stuttgart. Lovely to see that. The seconds before you walked out, when everyone was eating here, did that feel very familiar or after 50 months slightly strange? Well, it's the best feeling in the world. Um, you know, those first few seconds before you enter the arena, and, um, you know, it's been a stage of mine since I was a, a young girl, and, um, to, to know that I'd be walking back on it was really special and um, I've been waiting for this uh, moment for a long time. Well, you did have more time probably than you had for a long time. How much time did you actually take off not playing tennis at all, not hitting any balls? Yeah, quite a lot. I think the most since I had a uh, shoulder surgery. Um, you know, I really, I didn't know when I would be back and so, um, you know, I wanted to do other things in my life and to explore and to learn. I went to school for a little bit, I was uh, working a little bit, I was growing my business um, and I also had a pretty normal life for a while. Um, you know, I, I still kept in shape but I definitely put the racket away for a little bit and I think um, it really invigorated me for when I came back in January and started training. When you had some time, did you develop some new interests or do you kind of get to know yourself in a different way? It's a little bit of my problems. I actually start developing too many interests, and uh, you know, I, I think there's so many great things that um, you know my main job has brought to me, and I've um, I've been able to to take that and, and to learn from it and and, and grow. Um, you know, if there's something that I could have done in the past 16, 15 months was was actually grow as a person in my life, and um, and I felt like I I really had to step up and do that. Well, let's get back to tennis. Uh, how long did it take you to feel like, well, I'm playing the way I want to play, and this feels like maybe it used to? Um, when I'm on the court, I because I've done it for so long, um, you know, it. Even though yes, you're rusty and you're, you're trying to get the rhythm again, and you know it's it's my first match in a while, but um, this is what I've done for so long, and when you're in the moment. 
you know, you try to block everything out and then you compete and I'm a competitor by nature even when things are not working. Um, that's what I do. That's when I'm at my best and um, when I forget about everything and just be me and just compete. Well, you had to wait a long time for your first match and not very long for the second one because you're going to be playing tomorrow afternoon against somebody I'm sure you know very well, Ekaterina Makarova. It's going to be a completely different match. How do you see that matchup? Well, she's a lefty and, um, you know, I think every match, no matter who I play, is, is important for me. Uh, we today and, um, and I'm looking forward to playing as many matches as I can. Thank you very much. So do we and best of luck for the tournament, Maria Sharapova. Stats for Maria Sharapova. Uh, first her percentage dropped off a bit as the match went on because she was going for so many big serves, but a lot of aces, 11, she'll...